Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well this looks like a major win for the UAPs against the TV licence, doesn't it? Let's begin. Okay, as many of you will know, I don't actually have a dedicated upload schedule, so the best way to see my videos as soon as I put them online is by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, this story is from the Daily Express and it says license fee rebels won't face court, BBC chief tells both them. Now this is actually quite good. It first started off a little while ago when 700,000 OAPs didn't pay their TV licences. I've done a video on that and I'll link that in the description. Over 75s will not be threatened with legal action for refusing to pay the TV licence the BBC Director General has signalled. And good, that's the way it should be. They shouldn't have to pay. They've worked all their lives so you'd think they'd at least earned the right to watch a little bit of live TV and not be forced into paying for it, wouldn't you? And also this could be the first step in getting rid of the TV licence completely, couldn't it? Former England cricket captain Lord Botham, backed by more than 20 fellow peers, had urged the BBC boss Tim Davey to ensure TV licensing made an explicit pledge that they would not prosecute anyone over the age of 75. Older people's rights to free viewing ended last year, except for those who receive and pension credit. In an email response, Mr Davey said, We are not sending any enforcement letters to older people who had previously held a TV licence. There are no visits taking place in relation to over 75s at this time. And surely that kind of implies that the BBC has given up on the over 75s. But let's continue. When free TV licences were introduced by the Labour government in 2000, we understand, according to the Ministry of Justice, that no one over 75 was prosecuted between 1992 and 1999. So that's seven years before the over 75s were even entitled to a free TV licence. So the BBC back then must have known it wouldn't exactly be a good look taking the over 75s to court, would it? And I think that practice will continue. I can't see any over 75s getting taken to court. Now this next bit may sound a little bit worrying, but to be honest, you've got to read between the lines. I'll explain in a minute. We have been very clear that we are giving people time to transition, which has been extended further because of COVID. We are continuing with that policy. Mr Davey added, we have now transitioned over 3.6 million households. The majority have paid in one go and over 770,000 have applied for free TV licences. We have taken over 1 million calls. Now, as I said, you've got to read between the lines a bit. Tim Davey, after announcing that they're going to start charging the over 75s, can't then turn around and say, well, actually, we'll, we will give you free TV licences after all. Because even though, in my view, that would be the right thing to do. But I'm sure Tim Davey would know that if he said, we're not going to chase the over 75s or take them to court, that thousands or even hundreds of thousands of OAPs would then cancel their TV licences completely, including those over 75, which have now paid for a TV licence. Plus also, it would make the BBC seem a little bit weak, wouldn't it? Because it would mean they'd be announcing one thing one minute and then completely going against it the other minute and would bow down to public pressure. And I'm sure they just would rather see our money coming in. So he probably just wants to hold on to as much money as he can possibly get. Lord Botham, 65, a prominent Brexit supporter, who became a peer last year, welcomed the news saying it would be plain wrong for Tim Davey to break this practice and start prosecutions for our oldest pensioners. I have countless complaints from pensioners in their 90s who find the BBC's letters threatening. And it's not just people in their 90s. Loads of people find them threatening because they do have that tone, in my opinion. And if it was any other company who sent these letters out in that manner, I'm sure they'd probably be on BBC Watchdog themselves, wouldn't they? For the BBC to start doorstep visits from enforcement officers and then criminal prosecutions would be unacceptable. And he's completely right, isn't he? Because it would be. And in fact, it would paint the BBC in a bad light, even more worse than they currently are, in my opinion. Now, as the law currently stands, if you watch live TV or watch the BBC, you need a TV licence. And I'm not trying to say break the law at all. I'm not. That would be wrong. Do not break the law. However, I think the BBC would find it very hard to get anyone to pay the TV licence without some sort of legal threat, wouldn't they? But if the BBC or TV licensing aren't actually sending any letters to the over 75s, informing them that they now need a TV licence to watch live TV or BBC iPlay or things like that, and they're not going to send people round to their door, and they haven't prosecuted anyone over 75 for seven years before the free TV licence even existed, then it kind of implies 
that they've kind of given up on the other 75s, doesn't it? And in my opinion, they never even should have started charging the other 75s. I think it was a very bad move for the BBC, and one which I'm sure will probably lead to their eventual downfall. Anyway, let me know what you think. Here are some of my other videos for you to watch next. If you're a legend, click that like button down there. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.